Hi students, myself Ansi Jonche presenting Unit 2 that is Data Link Layer and Media Access from the subject CS 8591 Computer Networks. Here we are going to discuss the topic Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a wireless LAN technology designed to connect devices of different functions such as telephones, notebooks, computers, cameras, printers and even coffee makers when they are at a short distance from each other. A Bluetooth LAN is an ad hoc network which means that the network is formed spontaneously. The devices, sometimes called gadgets, find each other and make a network called a piconet. Here, here are some applications of Bluetooth. First one is peripheral devices such as wireless mouse or keyboard can communicate with the computer through this technology. Next one, monitoring devices can communicate with sensor devices in a small healthcare center. Next one, home security devices can use this technology to connect different sensors to a main security controller. Next, conference attendees can synchronize their laptop computers at a conference. Bluetooth defines two types of networks in its architecture. That is, first type is the Piconet and next one is the Scatternet. First we see about Piconet. A Bluetooth network is called a Piconet or a small net. The Piconet can have up to eight stations, one of which is called a primary, the rest are called secondaries. Here is a representation of a Piconet. Next we see about the Scatternet. Piconets can be combined to form what is called a Scatternet. A secondary station is one in one piconet can be the primary in another piconet. This, this station can receive messages from the primary in the first piconet and acting as a primary deliver them to secondaries in the second piconet. A station can be a member of two piconets. Here is the representation of scatternet. Next we discuss about the bluetooth layers. Here we can see each and every layers of bluetooth. First we see about logical link control and adaptation protocol that is L2 cap layer. The L2 cap layer is roughly equivalent to LLC sub layer in LANs. It is used for data exchange on, on an ACL link. The SEO channels do not use L2 cap. L2 cap has two specific duties. First one multiplexing. At the center side it accepts data from one of the upper layer protocols, frames them and delivers them to the baseband layer. At the receiver side, it accepts a frame from the baseband layer, extracts the data and delivers them to the appropriate second layer. Next duty is segmentation and reassembly. The maximum size of the payload field is in the baseband layer is 2774 bits or 343 bytes. This includes 4 bytes to define the packet and packet length. Therefore, the size of the packet that can arrive from upper layer can only be 339 bytes. The L2 cap divides these large packets into segments and adds extra information to define the location of the segments in the original packet. The L2 cap segments the packets at the source and reassembles them at the destination. Next, quality of service. Bluetooth allows the stations to define a quality of service level. Bluetooth default to what is called best effort service. It will do its best under the circumstances. Next is group management. Another functionality of L2 cap is allow devices to create a type of logical addressing between themselves. Next we see about baseband layer. The baseband layer is roughly equivalent to the max sub layer in LANs. The access method is TDMA. The primary and secondary stations communicate with each other using time slot. Length of the time slot is exactly the same as well as the dual time that is 60, 625 microseconds. This means that during the time that one frequency is used, a primary sends a frame to a secondary or a secondary sends a frame to the primary. Next is time division multiple access TDMA. Bluetooth uses a form of TDMA that is called TDD TDMA, time division duplex TDMA. TDD TDMA is a kind of half duplex communication in which the sender and receiver send and receive data but not at the same time half duplex. Here, there are two types of communication, single secondary communication and multiple secondary communication. In single secondary communication, there is one, only one primary and only one secondary. The, first, in the, in the time, first time interval, the primary sends data to secondary and in the second interval, secondary sends data to primary 
in the next interval primary sends data to secondary likewise the communication goes on but in multiple secondary communication the primary communicates to first sec secondary in the first time interval and the sec in the next interval se secondary communicates with the primary and in the next interval this primary communicates with the next secondary that is secondary 2 and the next time interval the secondary 2 communicates with the primary likewise the communication goes on next we see about the links that is SEO link and ACL link in an SEO link a physical link is created between the primary and the, and the secondary by reserving specific slots at regular intervals the basic unit of connection is two slots one for each direction. If a packet is damaged, it is never retransmitted. In the ACL link, if a payload encapsulated in the frame is corrupted, it is retransmitted. A secondary returns an ACL frame in the available odd numbered slot if the previous slot has been addressed to it. ACL can use one, three or more slots and can achieve a maximum data rate of 721 kbps. Here is a representation of the frame for format. We can see the various fields detail. First one is the access code that is 72 bits. This 72 bit field normally contains synchronization bits and the identifier of the primary to distinguish the frame of one piconet from that of the other. Next one is the header. This 54 bit field is repeated 8 bit, 18 bit pattern. Each pattern has the following subfields. First, first subfield is the address. The 3 bit address subfield can define up to 7 secondaries, that is 1, 2, 7. If the address is 0, it is used for broadcast communication from the primary to all secondaries. Next subfield, type. The 4 bit type subfield defines the type of data coming from the upper layers. Next subfield is F. This 1 bit subfield is for flow control. When set 1, it indicates that the device is unable to receive more frames, that is buffer is full. Next subfield is A, this 1 bit subfield is for acknowledgement. Bluetooth uses stop and wait ARQ, 1 bit is sufficient for acknowledgement. Next subfield is capital S, this 1 bit subfield holds a sequence number. Bluetooth uses stop and wait ARQ, 1 bit is sufficient for sequence numbering. Next is HEC. The 8-bit header error correction subfield is a checksum to detect errors in each 18-bit header section. The header has three identical 18-bit sections. Next is the payload feed which contains the data. Next topic is connecting devices. We use connecting devices to connect hosts together to make a network or to connect networks together to make an internet. Three type, kinds of connecting devices, hubs, link layer switches and routers. And we see we can see each one in detail. Here is a representation of a hub. A hub is a device that operates only in the physical layer. Signals that carry information within a network can travel a fixed distance before attenuation endangers the integrity of the data. A repeater receives a signal and before it comes too weak or corrupted, regenerates and retimes the original bit pattern. The repeater then sends the refreshed signal. Next is link layer switches. A link layer switch operates in both the physical and data link layers. As, the physical layer, as a physical layer device, it regenerates the signal it receives. As a link layer device, the link layer switch can check the MAC addresses contained in the frame. Next one is the routers. A router is the three layer device. It operates in the physical data link and network layers. As a physical layer device, it regenerates the signal it receives. As a link layer device, the router checks the physical addresses contained in the packet. As a network layer device, a router checks the network layer addresses. A router can connect networks. That's all. Thank you.